Alright, alright. Welcome to another one about my stumps. World of Tanks console time warp series videos. This one's been sitting here for a while. And I've wanted to do it. Um, but I recorded it in a larger, larger size. Um, I re rendered it in, uh, I don't know what size it was. Um, but sometimes when I render it in, the, in a tall size like that, I have issues with my recording software um, not uh, playing well with it um, and therefore I have issues with when I go to re record it game wise um, my little window doesn't show it at all it's hard to explain but and I don't know why it does it I never try to figure it out because I don't usually render it in such a big video but um so I haven't and needless to say I haven't recorded it for a while it's been sitting there and I haven't narrated it so it is an older video I'm platooned up with the Great Joe. He's in his T29. I am in the um, the uh, Black Prince, and we're on Cliff. And um, we end up having an okay game. Um, so I wanted to do it, but just hadn't bothered to do it yet. But we're going to do it today. Screw it, right? Screw it, we're going to do it. So without further jabbering for me about why I hadn't done it yet, um, we're doing it now, I'll tell you. <laughs> we're gonna do it now I tell you and you notice uh, you'll see broadcasting um, I don't normally um, live stream uh, anyone that watches my channel knows I don't live stream um, I probably should once in a while but uh, this is I was just testing it out um, and see how it worked and everything else and so this is like I said this is from a while ago um, and you'll see I have one viewer and then it goes up to two and then maybe three and then back to one and so I, I, I don't live stream and I've never really attempted to build a live streaming audience um, and I've thought about it you know but I don't know I just not my thing I don't think so puts too much pressure on me man the great Joe is pushing down this corner we got a couple tanks with him um, we'll see what happens he's in the T29 if you can get in you know wedged in that corner right there, this guy is SOS help why did you pull way out there, buddy? You pull way out there, then you get raped, and then you're like, help! You know, so that is what it is. I guess we all should pull out there and get raped. See if I can get the Capola of the T29. No, not gonna happen. Twang, bounce a couple shells. See if I bounce a few more, I'm detected. Oh, tracks eat that one. Oh, I didn't eat that one though, did I? Something from way out back hit me. 153 on the uh, Sherman. Come on back out, buddy. Come on. There you go. Good job. Damage him again. He must be right there still. There he is. And we bounce that one. Which kind of stinks. But it is what it is. I want to be up behind that tank that was there. But I don't want to block the AT2 in. And, you know, and Joe's right there. So I really can't get good position with that AT2 sitting there. And I wish you'd, uh bug out and go somewhere else. Um, yeah, there you go. You're right up there, AT2. That's where you need to be. So I can use that tank and wiggle back and forth behind it. Oh! T29 down. Joe's gonna move up a little bit. AT2 is gonna move up a little bit. Alright. I noticed it moving around behind us as a tank coming down. M7. I'd say he's coming after our artillery, but we don't have any. So, uh, that's not the deal. That's not the jam, man. I don't know what he's coming down for. I have no idea why he's right there. Um, but he's got a couple teammates coming down this way, too. And our team is down quite a bit right now. We've only killed four, and they've taken out, what, seven of us? So, they've taken out the total top of the hill. So, I guess it's time to put my fire that way. I'm trying to right now, and then uh, the AT-2 decides to turn around and start running into me. As I'm aiming. Uh, he leaves Joe all by himself. I guess there's a tank destroy back there too, so Joe's not really by himself, but I'm going to turn around and, and see if he needs any help. And the AT-2 decides to go back, which I know his gun ain't going to do a lot here, but um, trying to get in a position where I can shoot up on the hill and help Joe at the same time, but that's just not going to happen. I can't get the buildings in the way, and I don't want to go back any further than the building because, you know, 
Now I'll be way out in the middle. So, get a couple shots. They're shooting at Joe, but hitting me. Because <laughs> I'm not detected, so, you know, they're just throwing shots over here. Every time Joe pokes out. Now I think they're just spraying and praying. But I'm going to back up here. Where the bigger threat is these guys coming in behind us. 59-16. Put a big shot into him there. Come on, can I finish him off? And I miss. Darn it. Not a good shot there. That was a fail on my part. Going after our tank destroyer, our Dicker Max. Our D Max. Alright, you're going to have to deal with him, buddy. I got other tanks to deal with up top. They're pushing the top of this hill pretty bad, so I'm going to start aiming my fire at this T1. Alright. Why are you backing up, man? Come on. Don't back up. I just want to be friends. Don't you want to come and play with Bumpy? Come and play with Bumpy. Alright, the team's getting a little bit better now. Taking a, They've taken out a bunch of the ones down bottom. So that's all good. But I know we still have four or five tanks up here somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know where they are at this point. But, um... I'm trying to, you know, just cover the cover the ass, man. Trying to cover the ass. But none of them show up. It's like, okay, I know there was a bunch up there. Where are you? Okay, there we go. Hello. 3601H. Oh, I should have taken the 3601 first. But uh, T1 Heavy decides to sit right there. So I'll, I'll take him first, I guess. We'll have you for lunch. Oh, and I miss... Our Dicker Max, I believe, finishes him off. I finished the other guy off. But now it's only Joe and I against five tanks. So I'm like, eh, I should probably catch up with Joe. Try to get back in that position to help him out. Um, we can go back to back. And uh, probably do better that way than to have two separate, you know, us in two separate places. Can I sneak that one in there? Damn straight. You're out of the game. Now we're only down by two tanks. And we know one of them's over there in front of Joe. Joe finishes off that guy. Now we're only down by one tank. So, uh... It isn't looking too shabby now. And I've got almost, you know, I've got... Seven-eighths of my health. Or well, however, more than three-quarters. You know, i got quite a bit of health. So, uh... I'm perfectly fine. Joe's down. He's only... He's still got above 75% of his health. So we should be perfectly fine, really. We're not... We're not in any dire need to, to go st be stupid or anything else. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull out around here. See what we can see. There we go. There's one. He puts a pretty big one into Joe. And now we're just kind of like going gung-ho. Like, screw it. But Joe's in my way. I can't help him. There we go. T20. There we go. There's one shot. Joe's getting shot from the side. I believe he's tracked. And I'm just going to keep firing right at the T20. And, of course, he ammo racks me in one little shot. You know how that works out. But then the other tank's above him. So that kind of sucks. And my ammo rack is gone. And I'm like, what the fuck? I wasn't going to fix it. Because I was like, you know, I can deal with the amount of tanks left. I'm, I'm okay with no ammo rack. This thing loads quick enough to begin with. And, of course, I try to fix it twice, and the radio wheel doesn't work, right? So, but right there, I went from having pretty much all my health to freaking 220 within seconds. Because, of course, I get ammo racked, and I get tracked, and I get... That's why I didn't fix the ammo rack at first, because I was worried about getting tracked, you know? Because you know how that goes. Whenever you get ammo racked, the next shot's going to track you out in the open. So, only one tank left now. Um, and it's a Comet. We'll penetrate him there. Do it again. No, we missed that one. He's been hiding at the back of the map the whole game. Hadn't had any health out of him yet because, you know, he's a little douche and a medium at the back of the map. 152 out of him there. And 147. So you notice a pattern here. And Joe hits him. He's down to no health. And then I bounce. And then I bounce. And then... Miss. You know how that goes, people, right? The minute you get down to no health, you're impossible to kill. But this isn't common in this game. 
I know the auto lock isn't going to work all the time. But, you know, the game, when this game... There we go, bitch. Fuck you. When you get down to nothing... The game purpose... Not all the time. Not all the time. But there's so many times that all of a sudden the tanks get you getting beaten, beaten, beaten. You're down to 50 health. No one can hit them for the next five shots. Six shots. Seven shots. It's pathetic. But it's World of Tanks console. We end up with 4,400 XP with the multiplier, 47,000 silver, even using a ton of, ton of, uh, I think I used quite a few premium, if I remember right. Maybe not. Mastery class, 95%, 2,000 damage dealt, 813 assist. So we went 1 2, Joe and I, um, combined for over 4,000 damage. And you look at our tanks down there, our AT2 that kept on getting in the way did 151, T1 heavy nothing, M4 nothing, Churchill 100. <laughs> Two shots for 319 to the uh, E2. 5.84 assist on the IS. 85 assist and 3 shots for 4.44 to the T1 Heavy. T29, 144 assist. 1 shot for 68 to the M6. 59.16... We ended up putting one shot into him for 157. Four shots for 508 to the Comet. One shot for 103 to the 3001H. One shot for 57 to that 3001H. Four shots for 406 to the T20. But you notice how, you know, you get down to, to no shots, no, no health left, and then all of a sudden the tank is, you can't hurt him. Joe ended up with 20 shots fired. I didn't even see the penetrations. Screw it. I shot 36 shots, 20 hits, 17 penetrations, 2,000 damage, 813 assist. So I'm almost up to 3,000 um, combined. 2,800 and change combined. 8 tanks hit, 5 destroyed, 1,200 damage received. I blocked 1,800, so you know, I blocked quite a bit there. Um, so it wasn't... it. We were top tier. There was only like three or four tier sevens in each team. And you're in the T-29 and you're in the Churchill. I mean the Black Prince, rather. You know, you're going to pretty much have a decent game. So, you know, that's that's whatever. But what I want to discuss here in the last seconds of the video, back to what I was saying, you have a uh, a game where you sit there and you take a tank, the Comet, down to nothing, down to one shot, and then all of a sudden... I miss, I miss, Joe misses, I miss, I miss. And I've seen this happen so many times, not just me. I've I've seen other videos, I've seen other games where, you know, two of us will whittle a tank down and then all of a sudden neither one of us can hit him. Bounce, miss, track shot, track shot, bounce, miss. It's just stupid. The mercy shit is just, ugh. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Remember, in that battlefield, shoot the red ones.